Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to yet another episode of SmackDown. We've got a big episode ahead of you tonight consisting of a tag team championship match and some clarification on what the hell happened with Mr. Kennedy. Let's get right into it. We've got a preview and we've got a segment from Teddy Long that we've got to go over. That Teddy Long segment is our match number zero. If you were watching our previous episode, you will see that Mr. Kennedy is not abiding by his terminated contract, his terminated SmackDown contract. He lost a Losers Leave SmackDown match and ultimately lost his spot on the roster as a member of SmackDown. However, that did not stop him from poking his neck out into last week's World Heavyweight Championship match, interfering and attacking CM Punk, and later on referring to the fact that he will not allow CM Punk to ruin all the work that Kennedy has done to put himself in the position and win the World Heavyweight title. So Theodore Long is in the ring to address just what the hell is going on with Mr. Kennedy. Theodore Long states that Mr. Kennedy has negotiated his way back onto SmackDown. Theodore Long states that despite Kennedy's embarrassing actions at Survivor Series, Mr. Ken Kennedy has proved himself to be a valuable enough asset to the SmackDown brand to continue his tenure on SmackDown under somewhat of a probationary period. Theodore Long says Mr. Kennedy will not be attacking anybody and he will not be making a fool or embarrassing Theodore Long in any kind of fashion or else he is gone and terminated from his contract. And Theodore Long says he's going to log in with the admin codes and turn all of Kennedy's stats down to zero. <laughs> so Ke Theodore Long ain't fucking around, y'all. Theodore Long ain't playing. However, Theodore Long has granted Kennedy a return back onto SmackDown. Really, I it says probationary period. It's not like he can't lose or anything like that. Um, he really just can't be acting a fool. And he's got to be obedient towards the general manager. And that that's pretty much it. Theodore Long knows that Kennedy's got a 100 popularity. A, that's a that's a three digit popularity rating. That's somebody you gotta keep. All right, you hear me? So that is it for match number zero. That is the the major announcement is that Mr. Kennedy is going to be sticking around SmackDown, and on, not only will he be sticking around SmackDown, he will be included into the main event at Armageddon, and it has been set a triple threat. For the World Heavyweight Championship, CM Punk, Mr. Kennedy, challenging Bobby Lashley. It's going to be a good one, but we got the go-home show to go over first. Match number one. Edge, Randy Orton, rated RKO, taking on the Hurt Business, Chris Masters and MVP for the Tag Team Championships. Chris Masters and MVP have had a sparkling record as a tag team however they have not yet faced a team quite like rated RKO and it will be an interesting match we'll see if they can defend their championships and what lengths they will go to to defend those championships match number two Finley versus Chavito Guerrero in some single exhibition action in the cruiserweight division Gregory Helms will be present at ringside, assisting on commentary to watch his Armageddon challenger in action this evening. Chavo and Gregory Helms will compete for the Cruiserweight Championship at Armageddon in a one-on-one -on -one competition. So this will be a nice preface to that. Just a four-match card, y'all. We got Bobby Lashley competing, and it's not even in the main event. Just a one-on-one -on -one contest. Some exhibition action for the champ, Bobby Lashley, 
taking on William Regal. Main event, we've got Marcus Corvon and CM Punk tag teaming up to take on Mr. Kennedy and Umaga. Marcus Corvon will be defending his United States Championship against Umaga in a no disqualification match at Armageddon. And CM Punk, of course, will be competing alongside Mr. Kennedy, not in any kind of team fashion, but in a triple threat against Bobby Lashley, aiming to take that World Heavyweight Championship. It's a four match match card, y'all, but we got to jump right into it. We're locking up. We got a big tag team match. And that tag team title match is next. The following tag team contest is scheduled for one ball. <laughs> this is quite the entrance for rated RKO. <laughs> I don't think this is exactly how they'd be presenting themselves, honestly. But it's how they're being presented. <laughs> and it's the first time we get to see them come out together. And you know what? At least they've got the custom tight custom Titan Tron. And that says a lot. <laughs> Randy Orton, Edge, this is really quite a powerhouse of a tag team, and I loved them back in 2006, 2007. And I will continue to to get them some screen time here in this year. And we've got heels taking on heels in this competition. However, they've got the popularities to justify it. And both teams are real prominent players. Both teams have had MVP spotlight. Or excuse me, main event spotlight. I was reading his back. <laughs> and, I, and I said MVP. Main event spotlights. Obviously, the tag champs watching the back of the world champion. And then Edge, the former world champion in his own right. And Randy Orton debuting on SmackDown in huge fashion. Hopping in on that Hell in a Cell match at Survivor Series. So, Two big time teams going to go at it. This is just to open up the show, folks. We got a whole bunch more in store. And Edge and Chris Masters... And Edge coming straight out the gate at, at Chris Masters. Um, and then he's like rethinking himself. Chris Masters is talking talking that shit. Getting his little poses in. Oh, but then Edge going for the quick roll up. Gary Kubiak. Oh, no. Okay, Gary Kubiak doesn't even get down to count. But Chris Masters breaks out rather quickly. Anyway. Ooh, Chris Masters throwing Edge right back outside of the ring. He says, you want to be a little snake and slither out the ring? Well, then get out the ring. MVP applying the deadly, the visceral Boston Crab outside of the ring. And Edge is really in trouble here. Oh, there you go. He's turning around, getting out of it. There you go. Edge has got to get back in the ring. Masters has got to get back in the ring. MVP and Orton are fighting on the outside. <laughs> All right, here we go. Two legal men back in the ring. Edge not having it. Chris Masters going for it. And Edge, another roll-up. Edge is just trying to get out of this match as quick as possible, it seems. They are competing for the Tag Team Championships. Orton's going to fuck around and get himself disqualified, though. And it's going to be all for naught for Rated RKO. Okay. Going for, going for Orton, or going for Masters, but Masters reversing it, but Edge getting himself out of trouble there. Making the tag into Randy Orton. Okay, Edge again with the roll-up, even when he's not the legal man. My goodness, Edge going wild with those roll-ups, fellas. And Chris Masters not happy, but and Randy Orton hitting him with the roll-up. My gosh! You guys are crazy. Oh, Chris Masters getting out of dodge there. He's like, these guys are insane. I'm going to get somebody with a little bit more technical acumen, and his name is MVP. Okay, nice close line there, Chris. 
not Chris. Chris Masters just had to stand and watch there while Randy Orton took his partner's head off. There we go. Okay. And Edge, nearly a victim of the poor targeting indicator. However, he caught it just in time and was able to hit MVP with a nice face buster. My goodness. And we cannot stop with the roll-ups, guys. And Edge just loves it. He eats his bread and butter. And he continues. He continues to go after it. Oh, nice try, Mr. MVP. Nice try. Ooh, bringing him down. Gonna hit him with a deadly slingshot into the ropes. My goodness. Just cutting off the breathing paths of MVP. MVP wishing he never tagged back in. He was like, this was a bad idea. Brother, getting out of it. Okay. Can't, can't throw a man into his own corner. It's just not gonna happen. But we can throw Chris Masters into our corner. And then, okay, nope, we can't do that right now anyway. And we're gonna uh, once, nope, okay, Chris Masters, he is staying frosty. Hey, Ooj DDT, he hits it. And Edge, quick to get out the ring. I like how much of a little snake this fucker is. Slithers on out of the ring. Makes for a good gameplay experience, though. Okay, he reverses that. He says, get that shit out of here. And okay, Chris Masters with the Irish whip. My gosh, another DDT. Chris Masters is insane right now. He's on fire. Gonna start losing D momentum for how often he's going for that DDT. My gosh, Chris Masters is just coming. Oh my gosh, he hits it. Full Nelson slam. Not quite the full master lock, but he does hit the full Nelson slam. The full Nelson bomb. It is his a finisher of the Chris Masterpiece of the Masterpiece. Chris Masters, my goodness. All over the place. And Edge getting out of trouble here. Getting out of trouble with the Boston Crab. My gosh. He's, the boys of Rated RKO need to step their shit up, or else they're going to be not the tag team champions. I'll tell you that much. Oh, damn. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Chris Masters, an explosive move there. Oh, but Edge hits him, and he just racks him. He just racks the boy. Oh, my gosh. Chris Masters is ready for every grapple. The edge is thrown at him. Edge, but you can't, you can't reverse the leg whip. Edge, going for, oh my gosh, Chris Masters staying ready, brother, with the reversals. You can't stop Chris Masters right now. Chris Masters, because of his hot momentum, takes himself out. He knows that it wasn't going well. Edge. MVP's in the middle of the ring. I don't know if Edge can make it. He does. He hits it. Wow. Okay. And what a shift in momentum. All of a sudden, Edge can't do a damn thing against MVP, but boy. Or Edge can't do a damn thing against Chris Masters, but boy, he could whip MVP's ass. Let's go for it. Okay, Chris Masters lost all of his momentum. And now we're going to hit him. Oh my gosh, what a move. You'd love to see it. That was insane incredibly executed by the legend killer he's not known for his top rope moves but boy when he needs to bust them out he busts them out oh decked right in the face get back over here choking him choking this son of a bitch but chris masters once again once again Oh, oh, the world's prettiest dropkick was not executed. Oh my gosh, it's all... Oh, we got one. We got it, though. We got it. Ah, oh, Chris Masters, you son of a bitch. He's throwing us out of the ring. He's throwing us out of the ring. And that's doubly true if you're the referee. I don't think Edge has ever met a rule. Oh, swing and neckbreaker. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Huge move. And we hit him with the RKO. We hit him with the RKO. Let's go. Randy Orton going for the one, two, three, and Edge broke it up. Edge broke up the pin. Why did you do that? 
And now Gary Kubiak's throwing Edge out the ring. And poor execution of uh, teamwork there. Poor execution. Okay. Orton setting up for what looks like a super... Nope. Super DDT. My gosh. My gosh. Don't get any ideas, Orton. Don't get any ideas about any other kind of DDTs to perform. And MVP is hurting. We can see the effects of this match starting to... Take its take their toll, and we're gonna yeah fuck you yeah yeah fuck you and we're gonna yeah fuck you and we're gonna yeah fuck you and the, <laughs> and uh just for him to reverse it just for him to reverse it but it's okay because we are what what an MVP MVP's rallying oh that beautiful bridging German suplex but uh couldn't even get a one count. Uh, Randy Orton's very fresh compared to MVP, who's not fresh at all. MVP's rather stale, uh, like a stale cracker, and you know it just breaks like styrofoam. Oh my gosh! But he's still finding his way around to get some reversals in, and then big kick to the gut. Big kick to the gut! My goodness! Yeah, 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 yeah. What? That's some fucking caucus. And MVP with the Power Ranger kick to go with his Power Ranger attire. And MVP. Ooh, big spear! Big spear. Let's see if he's hurt enough to get the one, two, three off the fake spear. One, two, three new tag champs. Let's go. We'll pretend that was actual an actual spear, not a fake spear. But it was a fake spear. And there you have it. Bobby Lashley could not make the difference if he had been out here anyway. He didn't come out here because he's, he's got a championship or he's got a match to prepare for, not a championship match to prepare for. But the hurt business, the muscle of MVP and Chris Masters, they fall to rated RKO. Edge and Randy Orton are your new tag team champions. Team champions rated RKO. We see Randy Orton here in the back. Oh shit. Hold up. That's Matt Hardy. Oh my goodness. Matt Hardy is beating the fuck out of Randy Orton right now. This is not good. Matt Hardy hits him with the twist of fate. Oh my goodness. And Matt Hardy is back. All right, folks. You saw. New tag team champions be crowned, and then you saw Randy Orton get taken out by Matt Hardy after the match. We're just going to say that it wasn't an actual parking lot setting. We'll say it was like locker room and Edge had maybe like hit the shower or something like that. But either way, Randy Orton gets attacked by Matt Hardy after the match, and... Matt Hardy is back, y'all. Matt Hardy takes a measure of revenge to get even for the R-rated RKO attacking Jeff last week. And Matt says, Armageddon, you two versus my brother Jeff and I for your new tag team titles. And it's been booked. It's been booked, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen and more gentlemen. One thing that the visual could not capture, however, is the fact that MVP and Chris Masters, they tried walking out of the match. They tried just dipping, taking the count out, and keeping the championships. However, when MVP was walking towards the stage, Rey Mysterio comes out. Rey Mysterio was supposed to be suspended, y'all. But Rey Mysterio comes out and gets into... A uh, bit of a scuffle with MVP, throws him back to the ring, and the match continues. Basically, prevents them from ducking, from high tailing it on out there. Later on in the night, after the match, MVP finds Teddy Wong and says, "What is going on with Ray? I thought he was suspended." And Teddy Long says, "You know what? He is suspended. However, I'm giving him one more chance." And that's going to be at Armageddon. That's going to be against you, MVP. You're going to go one-on-one -on -one with Rey Mysterio. 
because he says he's got a specific bone to pick with you at this point, brother. And in his contract, he had a certain amount of pay-per-view matches, so I had to honor it. Right now, he is still suspended. However, I am clearing him to have this match at Armageddon. MVP not happy about that at all. And there's definitely some frustration building up and floating around the hurt business. All right, next match, Chavito and Finley. We see that uh, we did not get the desired outcome. I simulated it <laughs> and uh, couldn't get the correct outcome. But we got the visual. We got the visual and that's what we need. Finley taking on Chavito in a one-on-one -on -one contest with Gregory Helms at ringside. Chavo picks up the W, looking good ahead of his match against Gregory Helms. Gregory Helms comes into the ring post-match. The two stare down one another. It's tense. You know, they, they did not pick up a win in a tag team match last week because of a miscommunication and their inability to communicate. This time, they shake hands, and that is that. Bobby Lashley taking on William Regal, and you see Elijah Burke in that managerial role. He does not actually take the managerial role. However, he does make an appearance in the match, and he is basically just trying to get Lashley's attention, and MVP and Chris Masters end up coming out to the ring, to the ringside because they weren't with Lashley originally, and then... Basically, once MVP and Chris Masters come out, Bobby Lashley's still distracted. It looks like Regal's going to pull off a big upset victory. However, Lashley stays focused. Elijah gets out of there after John with MVP and Chris Masters, and Lashley picks up the dip. Now, folks, it's time for our main event, a tag team match. CM Punk, Marcus Corvon taking on Mr. Kennedy and Umaga. That match, we're playing it, and it's going to be next. And here comes our United States champion. Marcus Corvon looking good with the strap. Of course, he's got to have it. He's got to have it. You already know CM Punk starting his SmackDown career off 1-0, albeit a 1-0 via disqualification and not the World Heavyweight Champion. So he, he won the match, he won his World Heavyweight Championship debut, however he, he, he won uh, while being empty handed. No belt. However, he has received another championship opportunity and he'll get that in two days this Sunday at Armageddon and this is going to be one of the men competing for that world heavyweight championship at Armageddon Mr. Kennedy both of these guys want to unseat Bobby Lashley as the world champion we just saw the Hurt Business lose their tag team titles are they going to lose their World Heavyweight Championship next? And Kennedy's tag team partner, a big ass man. This man will be challenging Marcus Corvon for the United States Championship in a no disqualification matchup. No countouts, no weapons to get either of them disqualified, no easy way out for the champion. Not that Marcus Corvon needs it or wants it, but it's just a fact of the matter. Punk and Corvon taking on Kennedy and Umaga. Two of these gentlemen were not on the roster just a few weeks ago, and one of this one of these gentlemen is not supposed to be on the roster. Rather interesting how that all works out. 
Quick counter there. Okay, can he? Corvon trying to get him in the corner straight out the gate. Boo! Big slap. Big slap by Corvon. Okay. And he's about to punch him up. He's going to deck him in the... Ooh, he knows he's going to break his fucking face first. And then he's going to punch him in the head. Straight in the head. Close fist. And ooh, Kennedy getting out of there. Getting out of trouble. And running right into his character model. But it doesn't... Apparently didn't work for the grapple. I'm not sure what happened there. But Kennedy's got to pick himself up and regather. Recoup a little bit. If he wants to not make himself look like a fool here in this in this contest. Okay, nice wheelbarrow slam. I don't know what else to call that. And Corvon is just taking his liberties with Kennedy. He, you can see Corvon is not happy to see that Mr. Kennedy still on this match. You, you, you know, uh, Corvon, he won the match, and he has still been dealing with the repercussions and the bad side of Teddy Long. Mr. Kennedy gets back into SmackDown, despite not supposed he's supposed he's not supposed to be here. But he gets back on SmackDown, and not only does he get back on SmackDown, but he gets a World Heavyweight Championship opportunity. So it would make some sense that Corvon is not exactly uh, pleased that Kennedy is back on the roster. Oh, nice DDT there by Kennedy. Okay. And now he's going to give them exactly what they want to see. You can't just keep playing to the crowd. That's a oh, wow. That was not the... Not the reaction that physics would dictate uh, for that drop kick. I don't. I. I don't think so anyway. But then again, um, I, think these I do not have a degree in in, in physics. Oh my gosh! Woo wee! But CM Punk has got some educated feet. I'll tell you that much. And Kennedy hitting him with a low blow on the way back up. Kennedy trying to get him in the corner. And just stomps, dual stomps from Kennedy and your mother. I don't say this too often, but I completely agree with you. This has all the making of oh. it. CM Punk doesn't want any any part of Corvon or any part of Umaga. He says, you know what, Corvon, I think you're more attuned to this. Uh, my guy is Kennedy, your guy is uh, Umaga, so let's just stick to that. Boo! Big STO, my goodness. My goodness, Corvon, how does it feel to be on the receiving end of that one, brother? Oh, bunch right right into the kidney. Oh my goodness. Corvon just not not happen not having any of that. Okay, nice little full nose. Sit down, full Nelson Bond. There we go. Okay. Umaga. Is one explosive some bitch? I'll tell you what. Superstars are at the top of their game, but only one of them is going to have his hand raised at the end of this one. And that's a real shame Oof, nice like kick. Said, nice kick. A great match so far. So, uh, okay, big shoulders, big shoulders, big shoulders. So that nobody gets their feelings hurt? I never said that. I'm just saying that just great can't get like anything, anything over on Corvon. We can get the shoulders in on him though. Believe, best believe that. What should your strategy be? You can't let him build momentum. He's so fast, so strong. If he gets the upper hand, you're not. Oh, Corvon's got Corvon's got control now. Let's see if his opponent is able to follow. No, sir. Boo! Pig spear! My goodness! My goodness! Umaga is a fucking savage, bro. He's a fucking savage. But you gotta love it, honestly. What's going on here? What is Umaga waiting for? Oh, okay, he's waiting to get fucking reversed is what he's doing. 
Oh, he's got him with the Samoa Spike. Oh my goodness. Ugh. That's devastating, brother. Devastating. What the fuck you doing, brother? Okay, double team. Okay, double choke slam. Big shit. Big, big stuff there. Okay. I'm just, I'm just gonna let Miss Kendi actually fucking help me because he ruined my pin, a bastard. And of course, CM Punk. You know, CM Punk was the. <laughs> MVP of the Survivor Series match because he fucking saved everybody on every pin attempt just about. Oh my goodness, I, another fucking huge spear. I love that spear. And then he sets him up with another Samoan spike. My goodness. My goodness. Get him, Kendi. Help me. Help me. There we go. We got the one, two, three. Kendi just bitch slapped CM Punk. Told him, get back. My gosh. Umaga is a force to be reckoned with, y'all. Umaga picks up the pinfall victory over Marcus Corvon. And he shows that Corvon is... Corvon better come prepared to Armageddon, but Kennedy also getting that victory up on CM Punk despite indirectly getting that victory up on CM Punk. And that was our main event of SmackDown, folks. Our go-home show to Armageddon. We've got some shenanigans to go over before we can get into Armageddon. We just got to check out our roster. We'll double check a couple things. Go on cash, we're fine. I'm not tripping about any of the words that you are saying to me, sir. All right, just sign everybody real quick, shore up the roster. We're all good here. And next. We'll just double check. We'll see what our match card has got in store just to see, give you guys a little preview. Nothing predetermined. They're just going to give us free reign, five match match card. We're going to fill that bad boy up and you guys are going to see just what it is on the next episode of this series. And as always, of course, in typical fashion, Thank you for checking out this video. If you've made it to this point, you are a real one. Let me know that you're a real one down below, and I will show you love in return. Stay tuned for the next episode, guys. That's going to be Armageddon, and it's going to be huge. We'll be coming at you hot. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.